لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. بإذن الله تعالى this evening we would like to discuss the matter of great importance that is in front of us tonight with the beginning of the last ten nights of Ramadan. The first topic related to this is yani, the excellence or the virtue or the superiority of the last ten nights of Ramadan. Yani, the Shaykh begins by saying indeed the last or final ten days of Ramadan have arrived. And in these final ten days of Ramadan are khairat, so many good things. And as well there are certain exclusive matters that are exclusive to the last ten nights of Ramadan that are particular and exclusive and particular yani, to these days to the exclusion of other days or other nights so from amongst those things that are particular to these last ten days or last ten nights of Ramadan is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make a greater effort in doing acts of worship during these last ten nights, more than any other time besides them. That the Prophet ﷺ used to make ijtihad, and he used to make a greater effort in striving in the worship of Allah and obedience to Allah in the last ten day, nights of Ramadan in a manner or in a way that he never did or that he didn't do in any other time outside of these nights. And similarly, it's reported in the Sahihain, in Al-Bukhari and Muslim, also from Aisha radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, that the Prophet sallallahu whenever the last ten days of nights of Ramadan came, that he used to tighten up his waist garment, and his izar, and he used to stay awake during the entire night, and he used to wake up his family. In these hadith, on indication of the excellence the superiority and the virtue of these ten nights. And that is, number one, because the Prophet ﷺ used to strive in these nights, in the worship and obedience to Allah, more than in any other time. And this striving includes all types of worship, including salat, including recitation of the Qur'an, including a dhikr, remembrance, play, praise and glorification of Allah, including a sadaqah, a charity, and other acts of worship besides this. That the Prophet ﷺ was busy the whole night in these things. And yani either he was praying, or he's reciting Quran, or he's making dhikr or dua, or he was preparing his, the food that he's going to take before the break of dawn. But he spent the whole night in, in those things that are exclusively for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, he didn't spend his night in other things, in the things that people spend their night with. Whether it's watching television, watching movies, listening to the radio, reading comic books, or whatever it is that people do. He spent his night exclusively in the things that are for the pleasure of Allah. This is the apparent meaning of this hadith. And understanding it in this way, that he used to do various types of worship, in this way, we can reconcile between these hadith and that which has been reported in the Sahih of Muslim from Aisha radiallahu anha when she said, I don't know that the Prophet sallallahu ever stood in prayer for the whole night until morning. Yani, I don't know that that ever happened, that the Prophet sallallahu spent the whole night in prayer until morning. But rather, the understanding here is, she's saying, as the Shaykh says, I should just read what he says. Because spending the night, uh, staying awake during the night is confirmed and established in the last ten nights of Ramadan. That is, standing in prayer and in other types of worship. But what has been negated by Aisha radiallahu anha is him spending the whole night standing in prayer alone. But rather, in the last ten nights of Ramadan, he used to spend the whole, the whole night in worship, but not just in standing in prayer, but rather, he would stand in prayer and he would also just recite Qur'an or make dhikr or dua or do other acts of worship. 
So it is not befitting for the mu'min, al-mu'min al-aqil, yani the intelligent, sane believer, to allow this precious opportunity to get past him and his family. Rather, every person should take advantage of it, and they should make sure that their family also takes advantage of it. فَمَا هِيَ إِلَّا لَيَالٍ مَعَدُودًا There are only a few numbered nights. Meaning, they are few in number. How many nights? Ten nights or nine nights. Out of the whole year. How can a person not take advantage of this? Perhaps a person might reach during these nights some of the gifts or the presents that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for His servants. And through this they will achieve happiness or success in this world and in the hereafter. Meaning the opportunity that a person finds in these last final ten nights of Ramadan might be the means through which a person would achieve happiness in this world and in the hereafter. And in the reward that a person can achieve. Indeed, it is a tremendous deprivation and a disastrous loss For whoever is seen, and there are many people from amongst the Muslims who we see wasting the precious time of these last ten nights in that which is of no benefit. They spend their, most of their nights in Allahu, Al Batil, in false matters of entertainment or amusement. So when the time comes for Qiyam to stand in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after they have spent their night in this foolishness then they sleep and they lose for themselves so much good. Perhaps they will never find this opportunity again and maybe a person won't live till next year. إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر